Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be doing like a halfway goal check-in type of thing. Um, I know technically it's a little bit past the halfway, but eh, whatever. There was a lot of stuff going on, so I'm just getting to this now. So for 2020 I had three goals, um, which I have a goals video on and I'll explain them a little bit as I go through them in this video. And I just wanted to do like a mid-year, like, ooh, how's, how are they going? Uh, spoiler alert, not very well, but current events have been really terrible this year, so, you know, that kind of uh, didn't help any. Hopefully I'll be able to complete these all by the end of the year, but probably not. Anyway, I'll, I'll just go through the goals and tell you what progress I've had so far. So the first goal that I have for 2020 is to read 20 non-fantasy novels. It could be any genre, just not fantasy, but not a comic. And I don't know if I specified in that video, but I, I think I decided to not count novellas as well for this goal. For this, I have only read six out of 20 uh, for for this goal. So that's not doing so good. I'm a little behind there. Um, will I make it to 20? I don't know. We'll see. But the six non-fantasy books that I read was Jurassic Park by Michael Kirchner. I still need to look that one up. A uh, Humble Pie by Matt Parker. Hatchet by Gary Paulson, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, The Giver by Louis Lowry, and The City of Ember by Jean Duprat. Of those three of them were sci-fi, one was a non-fiction. I don't know what you would count Hatchet as, a contemporary, and I'm not sure what you count Lord of the Flies as, a horror, maybe. Uh, so at least it wasn't all just sci-fi, which I was expecting might have happened. But either way, it's only six and uh, a lot of them are pretty short. So yeah, I need to do better on this. So we'll, we'll see what happens at uh, the latter half of the year. My second goal is to finish the r slash fantasy book bingo. Technically, this is not a goal that I need to finish in 2020. So I'm not pushing myself necessarily to finish it in 2020, but I do need to finish it by um, end of March in 2021, because that's when it ends. So for the fantasy book bingo, there are 25 prompt prompts essentially in a bingo layout, and I'll link the video with the various prompts and what I originally planned to read for those. Um, there's a few on there that I switched and move around a little bit, but um, I haven't read too many off of here yet, so that hasn't shifted too too much. So far, I've read six of the 25 prompts, and it puts me a little bit behind. I think it was really slight, though. So, I mean, at least I'm mostly okay for this. So, of the re ones I've read so far, I've read, um, I've completed the exploration prompt, and I read The Riddle by Alison Krogan, the chapter epigraph prompt, and for that, I read Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, although technically Words of Radiance would also count for that, so I could put either of them there. For the Books About Books prompt, I read Ascendance of a Bookworm Part, part 2, Volume 3 by Mia Kazuki. I also read Volume 4, which would also work for that prompt. For the prompt Made You Laugh, I read Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody, Volume 11 by Hiro Hainana. For the graphic novel slash audiobook prompt, I read All My Friends Are Ghosts by S.M. Vid Vidari, although I read a few other graphic novels that would also potentially count. And then the last prompt that I've read so far was the politics prompt, and I read How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom, Volume 1 by Doji Omaru. And what's nice about the prompts that I read so far, almost all of them I really liked. The only one that I would say that I didn't really care for at all was All My Friends Are Ghosts. So five out of six so far. We'll see how it goes as the as I read the prompts. And then for the final goal I had, which is the biggest goal that I had on, um, on my list of goals, was to, um, was to either catch up 
finish or get a huge chunk in um, about 20 different series. And I'm not really sure how well I did. Uh, there's a bunch of series that I only read a few books for, but then there's also a few series that I DNF'd, so I'm not really sure how to grade this, but I'll just go over the series and how much I read for them. For the Legends of the First Empire series by Michael J. Sullivan, I have not started it, so no headway there. For the Queen's Thief series by Megan Whaling Turner, I only read The Thief, so I still have five more books that I need to read for that one. For the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer, I have not finished any more books in that series. I am still on the third book, Cress. For a reread of the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, I have not made any headway into that at all. For the Howl's Moving Castle series by Diana Wayne Jones, I have only read the first one, Howl's Moving Castle. Um, that was also a reread, so I still have two more to read for that one. For his Dark Materials series by Philip Pullman, I DNF'd it because I started to read the first one and I was getting really bored <laughs> and there was a few things in there that didn't really make sense to me and just seemed kind of weird and it wasn't really jiving with me at all, so I just decided to call it there and DNF it. For the Song of the Lioness series by Tamora Pierce, I have not made any headway into that. I still have only read the first book. For the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, I have only read The Great Hunt, the second book in the series. I wasn't intending on finishing the series in 2020. I just wanted to make a bit, bit of a dent, so I need to read a few more probably by the end of the year. Uh, I don't know how many I want to read, but they've been kind of slow so far, so uh, we'll see how I like it as the series goes on. And for the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett, I read two books this year, and that was Equal Rights and Mort, which are the third and fourth books in the series. Again, for this one, I just wanted to get some more books read in the series, not finish it, because I don't know how many, but I think there's at least 40. So yeah, I never intended to finish it, so. But I still would like to read a few more books in the series because I'm enjoying a lot more than the first two. Then for the Monogatari series by Nisi Oisin, I read Baki Monogatari Part 3 and Kizu Monogatari. Um, Baki Monogatari Part 3 is either the third or the fourth book, and Kizu Monogatari is either the first or the fourth depending on how you order it, because some people read Kizu first. But yeah, either way I read those two. I also started on Nisa Monogatari Part 1, but it got really too weird for me there, so I just decided to call the quits then. It's a very long series, so yay, I don't have to read all those books, I guess. But yeah, it's just a little too weird for me, and it wasn't really working so well. Then for the Books of Pelennor series by Alison Krogan, I've only read uh, The Riddle, which is the second book in the series, and I still have two more books left to go. So it's still very easily possible that I could finish this this year. Uh, I hope that I do, because I've read the first three before, so this was a reread, um, and I haven't read the last one. So it'd be nice to know how the whole series ends for once, you know? Then for the Immortal series by Tamara Pierce, I have not made any headway into that. Um, so there's still four, four books unread, or I guess technically I've read them and I wanted to reread them, so unreread, I guess. <laughs> um, then for the Higurashi series, I read the last volume, uh, I don't remember, like Dice Throwing Arc, I think, and then I read a side story Mm, I don't remember what that one was called. Uh, that is by Rikishi07. I forgot to mention that. And I have completely finished it. There's no more side stuff, at least in English, that I know of. So it's done. Yay. <laughs> I've completed that one. I've completed the easy one that I only had two volumes of manga to read. But whatever. It's a win. For the Assassination Classroom series by Yusei Matsui, I read the 10th volume and it was just not really going anywhere and it started to get kind of more fluff and 
I think the action doesn't really work as well in the manga format for me um, in comparison to the anime format, even though I know the manga was made first. It just didn't work so well in the manga for me, so I decided to DNF that one. Then for The Giver Quartet by Lou Larry, I have only read the first book, The Giver. I still have three more books to go in this series as well. And then for the Twelve Kingdoms series by Onofuyumi, I have not read any of them yet, so yeah. Technically I read one of them, but um, I want to reread it, so I have not made any progress this year, unfortunately. Um, don't know how many books are in English in that series, so I don't know how many more I want to read in that. Then for the Murderbot series by Martha Wells, I read Rogue Protocol and Exit Strategy, which are the third and fourth novellas in the series. And so now I only have Network Effect, which is the newest book in that series, and it only came out this year. So I made some progress on this one, at least. So I should be able to finish Network Effect this year as well. It'll just be one book. Then for the City of Ember series by Jean Duprau, I've read the first book, The City of Ember, um, a reread, I guess, and there are still three more books that I need to read. Um, most of them rereads, and they're pretty short, so I think I should be able to finish this one as well. I just need to put in the effort to finish it. And then for the last series that I wanted to finish by the end of 2020, The Bride's Story by Kaoru Mori. And for that I read volumes 8, 9, 10, and 11, which means I am completely caught up with the series. So yay! There is a 12th volume coming out in um, October, I think, maybe? Coming out later this year at the very least. And um, I, I, I'm going to be reading it right away. And even if I can't read this, read it right away, I'll just still count this as a success because I have caught up with the series. So yeah, I've done good with this. This one at least. Anyway, that's all my goals for 2020. Let me know in the comments below how you've been doing on your goals. If you have any book reading goals, um, I'd like to know. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in another video. Bye.